Well, developers are making plans to demolish part of the silos near Interstate 80 and 480 in Omaha. Now, the new owners want to build housing at 34th and Vinton, make use of the trail passing by there. KTV News Watch 7's Alex McClune is there live with what's next for the project. Alex? Rob, Julie, developers are jumping through the hoops of City Hall and say their biggest hurdle will be the cost of demolition. There's no plan set yet, but this will be a long road ahead in order to redevelop this area. A trailblazing plan for an Omaha landmark. It's something that's, you know, past its prime. It's a landmark. It's something big that you can shoot for while you're running down the trail. Developers plan to build housing here like townhouses or row homes, attracted by the connectivity of the South Omaha Trail. We've got nearly five acres on one site alone that uh, has hazardous structures and uh, dilapidated structures that um, at this point in time need to be uh, put to use. Developers purchased the land, inspected the silos, and now need help with demolition. City Council could help by approving tax increment financing paying a price tag described as seven figures. We, we fully intend to engage the neighborhood in the process and, and um, get everybody's feedback so we can, we can expand what's there in a way that is conducive to a long-standing awesome neighborhood. But the concrete grain elevators have had a rocky road. I really enjoyed it when they had the banners hanging. I think they could do more of that. Some interstate traffic enjoyed what others considered an eyesore until 2014, when crews retired these banners, which developers are now considering. Trespassing was an issue in 2017, when police ticketed a group for filming a music video, and a man fell 30 feet hurt until someone found him at sunrise. It's an issue neighbors are over with. I don't know what it's gonna to cost to take those down. It's got, gonna be cheap. Redevelopment bridging the area with other parts of the city, but still a long path to get there. At this point, developers plan to keep at least some of the silos intact, wow. some of which could serve as a sound barrier to traffic passing by. At this point, DICON says Interstate 80 does not pose any issue to demolition here. Reporting live near 34th and Vinton, Alex McLoon, KETV News Watch 7.